Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. And uh, surprise, <laughs> this is one of the surprises that HOA and I have been talking about for you guys is to be pouring outside again. And we have moved our studio, built this little studio up here and you can actually see down there where that little couch and chairs is, is where we used to shoot. So we are back outside today. Um, and of course, as soon as <laughs> we set up the table, the wind started blowing. Gail definitely wants to come and play. I think she missed me. So today is also a special day because it is our 250th episode, which I kind of can't believe. That's kind of unbelievable to me. Um, I may go put my hair in a ponytail in a minute <laughs> before I get my hands dirty. Uh, so 250 episodes is kind of awesome. We're going to do a giveaway. So. Uh, what I want you guys to do is at the end of this video, I would like you to comment anything that you want to tell me that's awesome. And I would like to know where in the world you are. Just city or state, anything like that is fine. So just tell country. me. Well, city and state would kind of, yeah, country, I guess too. <laughs> um, so I think this will be really fun to figure out where everybody is all over the place. And I'd love to know anything that you want to tell me. So let's go ahead and get started. We have a couple of other little surprises. I'm gonna show you this first just so I can push it out of the way. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. Let's move that out of the way. Surprise number one was this lovely gift from our friend and viewer, Uncle Willie, <laughs> who made me this holder for holding my paint specifically for when it's really windy so my cups don't blow all over the place. So it's kind of awesome and I'm very excited. Thank you so much, Uncle Willie, you are awesome. We really appreciate you. And this was so kind and so thoughtful of you. Thank you very, very much. The second surprise is this. My beautiful friend Fiona from Fiona Art sent me some paint. She sent me a whole bunch of different colors of this Artie's Colors acrylic color, extra fine. And this one is Prussian blue. And she also gave me cerulean blue. And she also sent me alizarin violet, which I'm very excited about. And this one is an indigo blue. So we're gonna be using these colors today. And I also have a 24 karat gold and I have some of my satin enamels, pure white, mixed with Amsterdam pearl violet. So let's scoot these over. We're gonna layer our cup. Today we're gonna do a ring pour. And I'll move this over here so you guys can see what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it right here, okay. All right, so for a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas, we need about 21 ounces of paint. So that should be this full cup, okay? And then we have plenty of paint left. Let's do this. We're gonna do a nice ring pour today. Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Okay. And this one is the alizarin violet. <laughs> Okay, and they are leaving a mound on a mound. I have mixed everything with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and the paint. There's no water in anything. Nice and thick, leaving a mound on a mound. Okay, uh, this one is the Prussian Blue. Beautiful, beautiful color. Nice and dark. <laughs> my hair's still flying in my face. <laughs> now you guys see what we've been hiding out in the studio for the last month. <laughs> Okay, so this is the indigo blue, which is a beautiful, dark, gorgeous color. Really love this one. And let's see, we also have the cerulean blue here, which is really, really pretty. Really like these. Okay, so, where's my, there it is. Okay, let's put a tiny bit of gold in the bottom. Not a lot at all. And let's come in with some of the Alizarin Violet. And we're gonna actually we'll just put a little bit of white in there first. And let's go into the Prussian blue. And some cerulean blue. I love that word. Cerulean. Put a little bit more of our white on there. Some indigo. And let's go back to the alizarin violet. And a little more 
old. Cerulean blue. Another shot of the Prussian blue. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put some gold on top of that, and I think we're going to pour it into a puddle of gold, and then we'll see if we need more paint. Okay, I'm going to move these inside, give myself some room to work. Okay. So we have our cup ready to go. What I do want to do though first before I pour anything is I want to paint the edges with that indigo. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, <laughs> Are you ready, Gail? And she's answering. Had to ask when you... well, she's here, she wants to play. Not like I haven't done it in the wind before. Okay, we're gonna pour a puddle of gold into the center. And we're gonna do a ring pour. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, did she? I'm trying to decide if we need more paint than that. I think we do. I think I'm going to put the same paint, just a layer, like maybe half of this. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, I'm actually going to rotate the canvas, and then we're going to pour this other half a cup. That is very pretty, though. Okay. Are you ready? Here we go. So I'm going to take what's in our cup of indigo and I'm going to thin it out with some more water, some water. And stir that. It's a little thick because it's leaving a mound on a mound and for this I don't really want it to. Wow, that's really pretty. I love all those lines in there. I like the center too. Pour this around the edge as our flow extender. Get some of my corners. Hello, Gail. You missed me, huh? Torch it. Oh, you can't turn off the light. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay. Let's spread this out. center and make sure there was nothing we wanted to change on there and it actually looks pretty good. So let's tilt this baby out. Enough talk. Let's tilt. <laughs> um, I think I want to go this one first. So we're just going to walk it down the canvas nice and easy. Take a chance that my paint sets up before I get back here. So I'm gonna bring it back down to center. I think we're actually gonna go down off of that side now. Since we have a lot of the weight of the paint there. Stretch out this edge. Just bring it down nice and easy. And if it starts moving quickly, you notice I'm lowering it. So, so what do I like? I love this. I like the alizarin violet in there. I love that Prussian blue in there. I really like the center. There's a lot of depth in there. These fingerlings are pretty. These lines are beautiful. I like that light purple and this like blue with the cerulean coming through. That's really cool. This part's really cool. I like that gold with the white. So this was actually what you're seeing here is the second cup that I poured and this is mostly the first cup. So what first thing that I see is this like large comet. So because of that gold and white around the edge and that's because we didn't take that off the edge over there. So at this point I need to decide if I like it like this or if I want to take that edge off and have that side look more like this or do I like it how it is. I'm gonna think about it for a second. I do want to just take the stick and fix the center just a little bit. Let's give it a little bit of a swirl. Let's see, I do like this side. I do like that side. All of our edges and corners are covered, except for right here and right there. <laughs> and right there. Um, I don't know, what do you think, HOA? Take this part off and stretch nope. it out? I don't like it. Leave it alone? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, I actually had planned to pour this yesterday, but it didn't quite work out. <laughs> so I don't think it's going to be dry in time to show you guys for Sunday. But let's do a little tour of all the wet results. And uh, we will show them on Tuesday when we pick the winners for our... Or should we do it Tuesday or should we give them Thursday? To give them a little bit more time to enter. Okay, so on Thursday we will pick the winners of our 250th video celebration giveaway. And uh, I will show you this probably on Tuesday. It should be dry by then. So this was awesome. Um, thank you so much to Fiona for all the amazing paints. They were absolutely lovely to work with. Beautiful, silky consistency and texture. And uh, I love the colors that you sent me. There's some more in there that I haven't played with yet. Like I just, I get this, like my cheeks almost hurt from smiling so much because I love it. But this was awesome. This is really beautiful. I love this section with these little cells popping up. Maybe we should call them Gale Cells. <laughs> Gale Galaxy. Gale's Galaxy, yeah, right? I don't know. Gale's Comet? That might work. <laughs> okay, so this was really amazing. Thank you so much for being a part of our 250th video celebration giveaway. To enter our giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video, uh, tell me where you live, and tell me anything awesome that you want. <laughs> and uh, we will pick our winners. We'll do three winners on Thursday. So I will see you guys soon. Thanks for being here with us. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is a couple of hours later and it has not changed at all. <laughs> but there are some really, really, really pretty parts that I wanted to show you guys along this corner. That alizarin violet is so pretty. I like all the cells. I like that cerulean blue and the Prussian blue is beautiful. And a little bit of indigo in there. Look at all those little cells. They're so cute. Center turned out pretty cool. So that's kind of awesome. I like how tight the lines are. Very neat. So I also wanted to give you a sneak peek of what our winners will be winning in our giveaway. I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the three pieces. This one is an Arteza 9x12. This is a Bloom Swipe. With these same colors in this color palette. Just done differently <laughs> for a Bloom Swipe. They turned out really cool. I like these a lot. There's some really beautiful parts in here. So that's really neat. Very blingy with the gold. So those are our three little prizes for our giveaway. And you guys will be seeing that video, the making of those three pieces on Thursday. So we'll see you guys soon.